Hey guys, Matthew here with FreePrescriptionLenses.com and I'm really excited to show you a new product I just got in and I can't wait to try it. I'm going to cut lenses for my own frame right now. Let's show it to you. It is called, the major company is called Thema. They are a family factory as they are called. The product is the Ultum. This is model number, as you can see, Ultum. Model number 200 in the 54 eye size now it only comes in three shapes it comes in one color and i can't think of but henry ford when he described the model t you can have any color you want as long as that color is black and of course these are a matte black this shape that i'm going to be cutting is very close to the wayfarer that i wore for so many years this is the ray-ban 2132 and new wayfarer in the color 50 i mean i size 55. you can see how close that is i wish that they lined up just perfectly just for a second i'm going to use this as a sample to show you how close the shapes are but this is a magnetized frame their slogan is one frame and all you need nothing that you don't so the three shapes are something very close to Wayfair although the Wayfair lenses will not fit in here I've tried that would be great if it did it has a large rectangle and a small rectangle Again, they only come in black and they only offer them in three shapes, small rectangle, larger rectangle, and the one I'm calling the new Wayfarer shape. So let me go ahead and begin. I'm going to pop out the demo lenses. By the way, extreme, the reason why I wore this frame for so many years is that it's so comfortable, so lightweight, so durable, where now this frame is almost a third of the weight and it's that really stretchable plastic carbon fiber material that you're seeing so much of these days. So, as they say, super flexible. So let me pop out these, the demo lenses. I'm going to put the frame into the tracing element of my edger and hit trace. This little stylus is going to pop up and it's going to go around and trace the shape of the right lens before moving over and tracing the shape of the left. And of course, it's all happening here at freeprescriptionlenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy genuine, authentic Ultum frame and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision lenses or, you know, I can do line style bifocal or, you know, single vision reading glasses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipts have my federal ID tax number, so if you have vision insurance or flex dollars, you will get reimbursed from this purchase. So I'm going to type in my pupillary distance is 31 for the right eye. 31 and we're gonna the my optical center is gonna be at 25 move that up there tick out pick out the diagram there we go and let's see yeah I can do any lens you want I can put sunglass lenses in here I'm just getting mine lined up that is my optical center those two dots tell me it's getting lined up you can watch all my other videos as I do the technical data for you but for now I'm doing this. Hang on, I'm getting everything lined up. Now, as you know, these are. this is a block. I like to call them Jenny from the block. I need to attach this to my lens while it is cutting, so I need to put a double-sided adhesive sticker on there, of which I've got a couple. The black side is the sticky side. That's how I can stick to my finger. I'm going to put the sticky pad on one. Let's do the other. And I'm going to pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Now, on the back side is a little silver button. That button is a magnet. It's going to do its job twice. The first one, it's going to attach itself to the magnet in this arm. I'm going to put it there. I'm going to hit that button. Now the block is going to come down and be applied to my right lens. Let's do the same thing for the left lens. Pull the paper away. Line up the magnet. Let's grab the left lens. Now my pupillary distance for the left eye is 30. So I'm going to bring that down to 30. Get everything lined up just perfectly. Just perfectly. And... Come on now, come on now. Quit moving around, quit moving around. Hit the button. The arm's going to come down and place the block onto the left lens. Oops, where's my flashlight? Forgot that. Always keep it hanging here so I can find it. So this is the Edger. This is what costs $40,000. It weighs 200 pounds. I recommend everyone go out and buy one, put it on your kitchen counter, then you can cut glasses at home. So the actual cutting wheel is over here on the far right. It's gonna act like a heavy grit sandpaper to grind away the lens material until it's the final size. 
this wheel in the center with that channel that little valley that's what's going to put the bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame so now the the magnet's going to do its job a second time it's going to hold it in place into the chuck or as i like to call it the charles because i don't know the machine well enough to call it chuck i'm going to wake the machine up that's the shape of my lens these are polycarbonate lenses I am not going to polish the front, I mean the lenses at all. I'm not going to put a bevel on the front surface. I'm only going to put a bevel on the rear surface, the concave surface of the lens. I'm going to hit the green arrow, which is start in every language. The door closes, the clamp shuts, and then the lens is going to be traced by two white styluses, making sure it's large enough to fit into the frame. You can see as it goes around measuring the lens to make sure it's large enough. And then of course it's going to measure twice, measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel so the lens will fit best inside the frame. Now these are polycarbonate lenses. You can see water running in the background, but polycarbonate cuts dry where plastic and high index plastic cut wet. But water will kick in for the last 20 seconds of the cutting cycle just to wash away any optical debris. Now in just a moment you'll see the lens drop down and begin cutting onto the cutting wheel. There we go. Now, this product is so new, forgive me while I read to you, but it comes with four lenses and other frames with magnetized clip-ons have a large magnet on the frame and a large magnet on the clip-on and it adds weight. These are so lightweight. I wish I could emphasize that to you, but it's a very clean rare earth magnet that just clip right on. The green lens, they call it the Revo lens. It's a polarized mirror lens with Revo coating. It provides outstanding visual acuity for a variety of performance applications and outdoor lighting conditions where sunlight can be harsh and reflection can distort vision. These lenses selectively filter the color bands of the spectrum where the eye is most sensitive to light and color, allowing all of the red light to come through while blocking and eliminating the harmful bad light. Revo lenses deliver vivid, clear, sharp contrast images for a superior vision. Now the next lens they have is the yellow lens tint. Let's pop this on there. It, it improves contrast. Let me make sure you're getting all this. It improves contrast. Forgive me if I, none of this was in focus. I'm a professional licensed optician. I'm not a cinematographer. But improves contrast, reduces glare, preserves sharpness, high intensity tint for maximum sight performance during low light driving, excellent for night, night riding, overcast, haze, or fall conditions. The brightness of this lens makes it a choice for many mountain bikers, shooters, and also cross-country skiers. Yellow enhances contrast by filtering out the somewhat scattered, out-of-focus blue light from the scene. Hunters, pilots, and tennis players find them helpful for this purpose. The next lens, let's see here. Okay, let me go ahead and pop this out. I'm going to take the lens out, dry it off. Let's go ahead and see if it fits. I'm going to pop it into the outside corner first using my thumbs. I pop it in and it snaps right in. So let's go ahead and do the same thing with the left. Put that in there. Flip that over to L. Hit start. Just like before, the door closes, the clamp shuts. And then the lens is going to be traced by the two white styluses again, making sure it is large enough to fit into the frame. You can see as it's going around and measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness possible. Of course, these are polycarbonate lenses and polycarb is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They are virtually unbreakable. They are bulletproof up to 22 caliber and have both UVA and UVB protection built into the lens. Now, I did not order these lenses with transitions because of the polarized clips. Now, Let's see what it says here. The, the polarized lens, I'll pop it on here. This is the regular gray polarized. The smoke gray polarized lens transmits all colors evenly without changing the value of a color. A category three filter gray 
tent is best for bright light situations like water sports because it blocks out the brightest of the sun's rays. They are made using horizontal strips of pigment to diminish flat glare such as the ones found on water, metal, and chrome. Polarized lenses diminish glare more effectively than tinted lenses are able to do. And the last clip that comes with it is the office lens. Now, this is a blue lens tint that you would find on Crizal Sapphire or Crizal Provencia. The blue light control technology is the perfect enhanced intermediate vision for home and office use. It is recommended for computer users to reduce eye strain and glare. You won't need to put your glasses on and off any longer around the office. The other nice thing about the blue filter and the blue coating on the anti-glare versus the green that Crizal has on many others is that they have found that that today's electronic devices emit much more glare that could produce that could lead to increasing the chances of getting macular degeneration later in life the blue filter filters all of that now some people don't like to have anti-glare on their lenses because of certain activities they do they feel it smudges more so you can buy the least expensive lens no transitions no anti-glare and then pop on the anti-glare lens when you want it now the anti-glare lens comes with a blue finish now the frame is black but it will become the front will become blue when you put that on there the yellow driving lens is the classic tortoise color so when you put that on you have a tortoise front with black temples both of the polarized lenses come with a black front so it stays it matches the the front of that what i do with that clip let me dry the lens off let's see if this fits first time around so i'm going to tuck the lens in at the outside corner snap that in there that snaps in let's go ahead and remove this block that is good now let me pop that back out again and to show you the difference in the lenses this will fit in there but it will not fit well hey what do you know what do you know if anyone out there has a pair of ray-ban 2132 size 55 lenses already you can pop them out of your ray-ban and they will go into this frame which is the ultim 200 i'll try them on in just a moment now the large rectangle is model number 207 the smaller rectangle is 206 so the more rounded frame that looks like the ray-ban 2132 new wayfair size 55 is model number 200. now of course i do free shipping anywhere in the united states and when you get these in the mail there's a small chance that these could fit too loose or too tight however there's an 80 percent chance that one side is going to fit higher than the other that is because 80 percent of people have one ear that is higher than the other and because of that statistics 99 percent of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them but i'm gonna get these in standard alignment first although i know i need to adjust these because as i mentioned i'm part of that 80 percent where i have one side higher than the other now again i mentioned i'll get these in standard alignment also known as a three-point stance the three points are one two and the bottom of the frame being three I set it on the counter and press down there is no wobble for now because i do have one ear that is higher than the other so when i take my glasses off they wobble on the counter but they sit level on me i'm going to flip them over check that no wobble close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly check to make sure the tension is the same and when i say they overlap that none of them are askew where one is higher than the other i'm going to make sure every frame is in standard alignment before i ship so what I do with the mirror. I'm going to go ahead and take off my frames now, put these on, and that is how it looks on me when I want to do the anti-glare coating. I simply click that on there. And if anyone out there, if they want single vision but it's time getting close to getting a bifocal, I can put a reading lens in here. So you just click that on when you're at the computer or whenever you need a little extra plus. Here is the yellow lens. For nighttime driving let me adjust that so it's easier to pop these on and off the gray polarized lens and then 
the Revo green mirrored lens, which is pretty cool if you ask me. Part of the reason I got these. Now, of course, how do you keep up with all of these? The case, the Ultim case. And this is a family factory, by the way. So it's not some huge, large corporation, but it comes, you can put the glasses, that's what it's designed is to go in here when you're not using them. But every, it has four sleeves, one for each of the clips. So you can just keep each one in here. And if you carry the case with you, you have everything self-contained in, in one piece. So that's that. If anyone has any questions, I can't wait to start wearing mine. But if anyone has any questions, simply, you know, just contact me through this website or through this link. And hopefully everyone else has got the chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.